Most of the people want to be an entrepreneur. A CE flow. Change up the game a little bit. Be a little bit out there when it comes to your fragrance game. You want to be special. You want to be noticed. You want to stand up in front of a boardroom or give that presentation or that PowerPoint and let everybody else know that not only do you have the control of the room, but you smell like you have the control of the room and outside of the boardroom, that secretary is just going to want to fondle that nutsack. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can put you onto 10 fragrances that would absolutely have you smelling like a CEO. I'm kind of a big Bless him, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. These fragrances are in no particular order and they're with different price points. Now I'm trying to adapt and give everybody the opportunity because there's some entrepreneurs that are CEOs of their businesses that haven't gotten to that point yet and they're spending a lot more than they're making. So they got a couple of options here that are in the more affordable space but don't lack luster when it comes to that scent profile. The first fragrance that I will be mentioning is a clone but it's a clone of a great Tom Ford fragrance and that's Tuscan Leather and this one is La Yucca Wan by Rasasi. If you know the scent profile of Tuscan Leather, you know that it's just the most masculine, raspberry-ish type leathery fragrance that you can encounter. It's pure masculinity in a bottle. One of the most popular Tom Ford fragrances in the game, with good reason. La Yucca Wan does not deviate from that. It's significantly cheaper, still has great performance. Rosasi is known for making some bangers when it comes to the performance space. And this will absolutely have the two and a half employees melting in the palm of your hand because you're an up and coming CEO, but you still wanna portray that confidence. And this fragrance can help you do that on a budget. Next one. This next fragrance I've mentioned in a ton of videos and probably will continue to mention in other videos because it is a signature scent staple. Easily affordable, absolutely gorgeous, no date on this fragrance, meaning that it can last for years and years and still not feel boring and redundant. That's by the house of Yves Saint Laurent and that's Loam. One of these sweet, gorgeous, beautiful, gingery, bright fragrances in the game. It's absolutely stellar. It's a dumb buy for somebody in the corporate space or even not corporate. You don't have to be all dressed up. You can dress it down. It's so versatile. It's so sexy. It was so hyped and people just started to stray away from it because they felt that there was other better shit. Don't sleep on the champions when they work. This works. CEO flow right here. Next one. This is a good budget option in the niche space. It will have you still smelling exclusive and absolutely stellar. That's by the house of Zaharoff and that's signature pour home. This is what I want to call that classic lavender fragrance with a new school twist. It's oody, it's lavender, it's shaving foam, it's classic man, it's bespoke suit. It's made to measure with notes like oud, patchouli, incensey, woody, very gorgeous, great performance on this fragrance. And a lot of people will agree with me that it's a classic man staple piece on a good budget. Next one. Now this one is kind of one that's easily accessible. You can go to any department store or purchase it online. It'll be in your house within seconds. It's a DNA, it has a great reputation and it works. Some people may find it boring and a little redundant and I totally share that sentiment, but when something works and really hits that scent profile of a CEO, it just works and that's Aqua de Gio Profumo. Bright, aquatic, sagey, rosemary, lemon, little tart. It is a scent profile that is recognized by many and this is one on a lot of people's lists because it just works. It is probably one of those quintessential office-based fragrances in the designer space that's readily available in any department store. Yes, it is a little bit boring and might be redundant to people in the fragrance space, but people who are not checking for this or are not in that bubble will find this completely wearable, super entertaining, fun, versatile, and signature scent worthy as well. Not very expensive, easy to be shopped on the gray market of fragrances. So why not pull yourself in that CEO with a DNA that might work and attract people in a different way? Next one. Now this one is a monster by the house of Marc Antoine Barrios. That's B683. I know my followers would have been like, what happened to Gynamede? Putting Gynamede to the side, it's definitely CEO worthy 100%. 
but B683 needs as much notoriety as Gynamid. It is an absolutely stellar fragrance with amazing performance. What shines here is the crazy violet leaf and red chilies. There's woodiness, there's elegance, there's gorgeous sophistication, there's amazing performance in this fragrance. And I know Gynamid becomes the star and this one sometimes falls into the back burner, but trust me, I've worn this a couple of times and every time I've worn it and I've forgotten what I'm wearing, I'm like, Bro, I should have worn a button up today. I should have slipped on some loafers. Daddy should have worn the Chelsea boots. I'm feeling fashionably sexy right now. This is boardroom CEO, command attention, Wolf of Wall Street before his stockbrokers preaching how we're gonna rob little old people of their retirement funds. Allegedly. Wall Street hedge fund CEO banker style right here in a bottle, next one. Sometimes we just need to throw a little creed on the list and if we are, Royal Oud would be that creed. Pepper, 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 citrus oud. That's what this fragrance is. It's a very, very desirable fragrance. Very masculine, very sexy, very spicy. Legendary DNA and one of the best in the creed lineup along with this next fragrance that I'm gonna mention that absolutely has CEO entrepreneur boss-like qualities. But this boss is a little bit more established cause this ain't cheap and that's creed spice and wood. I mean, the shit comes with a little 10 karat gold gilded little stamp shit here, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is some real deal Holyfield cedar iris powerhouse. You do get that pottery essence of iris. You do get those little bit of like Thanksgiving clove on that ham. You get that bossed up, oof, oof, yeah. This is CEO only. There's no reason for you to wear this with a t-shirt and jean, honestly. I may have said that in the past, but just putting it out there. This ain't a jean and t-shirt type shit. This is straight up suit, leather briefcase that has some damage on it, like it's been through war. This is probably a leather briefcase that's been passed down from generation to generation because this is the dude that really is going through the mud and has built himself from the bottom all the way up to the top and has earned every luxurious item that he can imagine in his repertoire because he's worked for it. This is a true CEO that's established. Next one. Sometimes you need them a classic man. And if you're gonna be a classic man, you need to have Chanel Platinum Ego East. It's soapy, it's sexy, it's masculine, elegant, staple piece. Still hasn't died out yet. The scent profile doesn't feel boring or redundant yet. It doesn't feel played out or dated. It still has a little bit of maturity left. I feel it has another five to 10 years left before it starts feeling in that dated side. It's gorgeous, super masculine, very sexy, very boss-like, commands attention. Will still separate you from the rest of the management that's looking around to see whose spot you're gonna be taking. There's people threatened by you, but don't worry. This fragrance will edge you just a little bit more because you know something they don't know. They smell like shit. Next one. If you're an established boss and you happen to be going into Louis V to buy your wifey a little bag, you might just pick yourself up a little ombre nomad, baby. Leather. Cold weather appropriate only, in my personal opinion. Leathery, incensey, dark, but this has like a real leather, like a mixture of suede and like hide, like wet leathery, hanging, drying from some sort of leathery rack, assassinated animal, sorry, PETA, with somewhat of a Tuscan leather type DNA because it still holds that sweet leatheriness, but this one's just a little bit drier, a little bit more rustic, a little bit grittier on the throat when you smell this fragrance. When it dries down, it's absolutely beautiful and legendary, but I feel that it sticks to two particular seasons. So if you're in a place that has four seasons, like the tri-state area of New York or Jersey or Connecticut, then this is something that you wanna play off starting like September, end August, probably September, through January, February. It is a gorgeous staple piece fragrance in the luxury lineup. So you got a little Louis, you got a little leather, it all works out. Last and certainly not least, this fragrance has a little extra oomph. It's got a little hitch in the giddy up. This fragrance by the House of Rosa, and that's Rosa. Danger! Parfum Cologne. Let's be honest, what sets this apart from all these others is that rhubarb note. That rhubarb note just been kicking me in the balls lately in a way that 
I'm liking every time I smell rhubarb in a fragrance, something. It gives it some pizzazz. It gives it a little bit of a spirit finger. It gives it some life. It gives it a spice level that is not redundant to anything else that I've smelled. Like you get a lot of leathers, you get a lot of vetivers, but when you throw a little rhubarb in there, you just switching the game up a little bit. You changing it up. You're like, you telling them, yo, 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 I'm not just creative, I build. I make moves. I put people in position to be in position to put the next man in position. Rhubarb, musk, citric, leather, incensey, peppery, boss-like. Great performance, two off the skin. Beautiful presentation if that matters to you. But it's all about that scent profile, right? Personally, I think I've blessed y'all with an amazing list to smell like a CEO. Future entrepreneurs, up and coming entrepreneurs, those with goals to be entrepreneurs. This is just a small drop in the bucket, a grain of salt to help propel you and at least give you the self-confidence to excel to that next level. There's too many of us out here making other people tons of money while we're sitting in the back working nine to five, just hoping to collect the check to make ends meet. We should take that same energy and drive and motivation that we do in putting stuff behind other people to do it for ourselves. Stop being so scared and move the safety net just a little bit. Don't be stupid, but be prepared. Try to take chances that you never would have taken because the true regret in life is never being able to take that proper chance or that opportunity when it presented itself. That window only stays open for so long before those little hinges let loose and it slides down and opportunity is done. Don't let other people's fears and negativity determine the potential success that you may have in your life. All these fragrances are gonna do is enhance what you already have, give you that little extra confidence, and really present yourself in front of that boardroom to say, this is what I'm gonna do to lead you people, but eventually y'all are all gonna be working for me and only me in my corporation. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. I wish you nothing but success, love, growth, and entrepreneurship. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who is best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. With a fly gun, hold a money folder, hold a roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>